Welcome to my professional development workshop featuring LibWizard quizzes. I'm Diane Schrecker, and today we'll be exploring my project for EDCT 6042, Leadership and Professional Development in Technology Settings. My workshop strategic plan includes these five key areas. Marketing, Communication, and Technology Considerations, Session Learning Goals and Learning Outcomes, Workshop Schedule, Structure, and Implementation, Formative, Summative Evaluation and Feedback, and Project Reflection and Future Plans. This workshop can be presented in person and online synchronously. Videos discussed in this presentation were developed for asynchronous viewing. The audience for this workshop is AE Library faculty and staff using LibWizard. Marketing primarily consists of email, staff meeting announcements, and in-person reminders and invitations. A workshop flyer was developed for use in library common areas, such as the staff lounge and meeting rooms. It will also be attached to one or more email reminders. Technology requirements are divided into two categories, participant and instructor. Participants will need the spring share and computer items. The workshop instructor and course designer will use all of the resources listed. It's important to note that there will be no additional costs affiliated with the workshop. The library has budgeted spring share platform modules and the university will provide access to computers, internet, and Zoom. The workshop will be presented in three segments with goals developed for each. The workshop welcome will include an overview of the LibWizard platform and goals which include providing an overview of the dashboard and available products, exploring a product landing page, organization, and components, identifying how to determine if you own or have editing rights to a project, and review and select examples of existing LibWizard quizzes. LibWizard Part 1 Details setup options. Participant goals include exploring platform setup and creating a new quiz, distinguishing between using default and customized quiz options, selecting and constructing quiz options, and developing a set of true-false questions, setting the display and answer properties, and saving the project. The Wizard Quiz Part 2 concentrates on quiz content areas and fields. In this section, participants will identify quiz work peg content area and manage quiz options and fields, use the utility field to create a quiz welcome screen and or directions for learners, and use the thank you screen to develop certificates of completion. The main workshop outcome is that participants will demonstrate understanding of the LibWizard quiz development process by creating a self-grading quiz with a start page, directions, three questions, and a certificate of completion. The workshop schedule is a half-day professional development section. The structure follows goals set for each component of instruction designed. The introduction is scheduled to last 30 minutes in each following segment, 90 minutes. Estimated times reflect anticipated question and answer periods and time for participants to work on projects. The LibWizard Quiz Workshop blog was designed to house archive workshop videos for asynchronous viewing. A review of the workshop blog will represent instruction provided. Welcome to the LibWizard Quizzes blog. The menu provides directions for users, including a welcome statement, instructions to explore, a link to the workshop survey, navigation information, videos in workshop order, and blog components such as labels, and an archive. To begin, 
The workshop introduction provides site details with the workshop flyer. It is a featured post that remains pinned to the top of the blog. Learners can return home after viewing or select a video topic and advance to the introduction. Exploring the LibWizard dashboard is the workshop introduction. Participants can view the video. Welcome to the LibWizard introduction. I'm Diane Schrecker, Curriculum Librarian and Head of the Instructional Resource Center at Ashland University Library. I am also AE Library's SpringShare Platform Administrator. And explore the session goals provided. As with the introduction, they can return home or move to the next section. Examining LibWizard Quiz Setup is LibWizard Quizzes Part 1. View the video. Welcome to LibWizard Quizzes. And explore the session goals. When finished, learners can return home or move to the session break. The session break post provides access to the live Padlet. Learners can review it in the blog and open it in a new window to post. Break information is provided and when finished, learners can return home or advance to build a LibWizard quiz. Building a LibWizard quiz is LibWizard Quizzes Part 2. Participants can view the video. Welcome back to the LibWizard Quiz Workshop. At this point, we have completed three of our workshop goals by creating a new quiz, instructing all of the corresponding options for headers, look and feel, and quiz submissions. We've also reviewed two quizzes currently in use. The two remaining goals include managing the WorkPeg content area, including the Welcome page and Certificate of Completion, and creating a quiz with true-false questions and learner feedback. Learners can also explore the session goals. This, per this post is the workshop conclusion. Learners can access the feedback survey and return home. Formative workshop assessment included informal discussions with librarians reviewing instruction videos. They provided input for workshop structure and the inclusion of Padlet. Formative assessment for participants was managed during the official session break and use of the word wall. Question and answer time was scheduled throughout the workshop for formative assessment as well. Summative assessment included the workshop evaluation. Participants were asked to provide feedback and data usage information was provided. Feedback provided by the librarians who reviewed the videos was anticipated from these users. There was an appreciation of being able to complete it on their own schedule, along with a request for in-person sessions and additional topics. Reflecting on this workshop, there are things that can be done moving forward. It would be useful to schedule attending meetings with SpringShare training sessions as a group and follow up with informal meetings to practice individual skills. When moving to the next requested topic, tutorials, building a template that could be copied for training would be useful. And finally, if we continue with Zoom sessions, small group meetings are worth investigating further. Thank you for viewing my presentation. Please feel free to contact me with any questions.